Where are we looking, Dave or camera? Yeah, where are they looking at? Uh, Dave. Dave. You know, we both grew up in middle class families and we were given a lot by our families and uh, we feel incredibly grateful for that. And we know that's not the experience of others who live in Nova Scotia who are either food insecure or don't know how they're gonna get access to healthcare. We have an obligation not to only give back in terms of money, but we also have an obligation to try to improve the communities where people aren't so lucky as we were, and we take that seriously, and that's part of what drives us. I think a lot of my, my journey and, and the firm's journey is, is really understanding what it means to be white, what it means to be a male, what it means to have privilege. Uh, and so as we've grown this company, uh, we've realized that we are a lot more lucky than we, we even knew. And so part of the mission now is to figure out how to, how to take this engine that is Davis Pier and apply that to, um, to making people's lives better that, you know, that have a lot more barriers than, than we did and, and we do now. We have been, in, I think, an incredibly good complement to each other. Mike is an incredible thinker. He's very much up and out. He's thinking strategy. And part of what my job is, is to take all of Mike's crazy ideas and put them into reality, both within the firm and through projects. There's no shortage of crazy ideas. <laughs> uh, and and I, think, I think we're both very ambitious not to drive profit and, uh, and not to sort of tackle corporate goals, but to tackle societal goals. And, and Daryl's sort of been a, an amazing partner to provide a foundation for, for me. And he's held the, the company together for, uh, for almost 10 years of, of making sure that we had all the pieces in place uh, to, uh, to allow us to do that important work. And to figure out a way where we can make community impact and still have a business model and still have a great group of people that's made a difference. As you grow through your career, and I'm, I'm 20 something years in, um, you, you have mentor relationships. And as you progress in your career, you will grow those mentor relationships. Daryl has absolutely been a mentor of mine for, for 10 years and, and I don't see a world where I outgrow that, uh, that relationship. We treat the business uh, the way that we've parented our respective kids, right? And that you treat other people the way you want to be treated. And uh, if you're treating your clients and your partners and your funders and your employees and your business partners uh, and community people that way, uh, then everything sort of works out. Ultimately, what people want is to be valued, to be listened to, and to be part of the solution. So whether we're working with our team members or whether we're working with Mike and I together or whether we're working with a client, it's that kind of just, how do we be in this together? Because I don't have all the answers and you don't have all the answers, but I bet if we collaborate and bring other people into this conversation, we may not move all the way to where we want to go, but we're going to move the chains just far enough ahead. I think it's a good indicator that since COVID, yes, the company has grown, but we've also have had to grow our office footprint. We've tripled the amount of space that we had in March 2020. Uh, and we, we haven't mandated people to come to the office. We don't mandate the number of, of days or hours that they need to be there. People want to be there. People want to be with their, their colleagues. People want to be in rooms collaborating with one another. Uh, they, they are as much uh, family as they are colleagues, I, I believe, and, and that, that makes for a great place to work. And I think it's part of the superpower that we have, that we've got all of these amazing people that want to be around one another, not to just socialize, but to actually work together to tackle uh, big societal issues. The content uh, that we ask people to be in every single day is tough. Right? I mean, it, homelessness, not having food, not having income, suffering with chronic diseases, it's heavy work. Uh, and I don't know that we would be able to tackle it in the same way if the culture of the company wasn't as strong as it is. Uh, and I, I think that's really, really important because we ask a lot of our team uh, because there's a lot to, a lot to tackle. Uh, and I think it all comes back to you know, being values driven and making sure that uh, we've got as strong of a culture as we do. I love the place, I love the people, and I can't picture a part of my life without that in it.